Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Freaking out. You ready? <laughs> so, um, do you want to get closer so you can hear me? So today we're going to work with um, counter surfing. Sorry, I was having a little memory loss there. Uh, counter surfing, stealing food, um, not going up and just eating random food on the floor. Um, if you have kids, this is probably something that you've experienced in your, your lifetime with your children of them just randomly leaving food on the ground. Um, so this is an exercise that we do to teach dogs that just because it's on the ground does not mean it's fair game for them to just go up and eat. So, are they great? So one of these is actually Ellie's food, so she is normally allowed to eat it, but I didn't give her permission to eat it yet. Please. Not in the sandwich, please. Watch out so the camera can see Ellie. This is a big deal for her. She's 
point is stepping on her leash elastic. Can you pull it out from under her foot? I think she's holding herself back. There you go, break. Good girl. Good girl. Rain, rain get back out of her face, okay? Give her at least a four inch bubble, please. Mom, didn't you ask for a napkin? I'll get you one. Thank you. Yep. Let me give me a napkin. Mom, that's a spin. Yes, for those of you, we'll get it. Thank you. Are you just spacing out of her food? Do we need to zoom in on the sardine sandwich? And my apple? On the skin. My apple. She's eating all her treats. Look at Ella Ella eating all her treats. Loved it. That's another dog, I know. That is more than Do you have any last words? No. No. <laughs> I don't know what this is. No, uh-oh. No, uh-oh. No, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Alaska, do you have any last words? I do. I want to get her favorite toy. Not when she's eating, please. You want to let her in her mouth before she plays with that, otherwise she'll get food all over it. Okay, well, I'm just holding it in. Look at this is LL's favorite toy. Fantastic. Alaska, do you want to explain why she's sitting there and she's not following along? Huh? You want to explain? To our viewers, why Elle is sitting right there and why she's not following mom into the kitchen? Because she's not allowed in the kitchen. So how does she know that? Where, where's, where can she go and where can she not go? She can only go in this space and downstairs maybe. <gasps> so how does she know that she can't go forward right now? Because she'll go in the kitchen, right towards the kitchen. How she cleaned her lips off. But is there is there a line or anything where she can see that she can't go further? Or how does she know that? Line. She knows that her food's right there, so she cannot go past this claw. Like this. She can't go past the claw. Yep. So basically, uh, from this corner here she can't to this go. corner here yeah. is the boundary, and she's allowed on this side, but not on that side. And L knows and respects that boundary, even though there is no physical uh, barrier or line as, as there is here. It doesn't need to be. Um, she's learned because we've maintained this boundary. And Elle is how old? 15 weeks. 15 weeks. And what kind of dog is she? A French Bulldog or a Frenchie. She's a 15 week old Frenchie and she is doing fantastic. Well, she's 15. And 15 weeks. That's we are happy to have her. And uh, do you want to talk about what we're using? Well, I desperately need to take her to go potty. All right, we are gonna take her to go potty. And then can you still have it on for this? You can Maybe. talk about what you wanna say. I just, she, I don't want her to have an accident. Break. <laughs> She's 15 weeks. And the girl run. So, so with with L, we are using uh, an Easy 900 a remote trainer, which is a very versatile training tool, and we were using that while uh, we were working with her on counter surfing. And we've used that to teach her her obedience. Um, as I wasn't paying attention with my camera, uh, she just went outside and she sat at the door and waited while Crystal stepped outside and then asked her to follow. Um, so uh, really, really cool tool. Hey, Alaska, you want to pick this food up off the floor so I don't step on it? Alaska, can you pick up this food off the floor for me? Um, so yes, even a, even a puppy at 15 weeks, a smaller puppy can use uh, an Easy 900 and it can be a super, super valuable tool in strengthening your relationship with your dog as well as getting them to not do the behaviors that really stress you out and kind of terrorize your home like destructive behaviors, counter surfing, jumping on the kids, uh, so on and so forth. Like we're, we're addressing all these after we've built a solid foundation. <laughs> Chill out bud. Uh, solid foundation with the e-collar 
uh, and we've done e-collar conditioning. So we've spent a couple weeks doing that so that now, can you please stop hitting me? Okay. Um, so that when you actually submerse your dog back into life, like you can uh, implement a lot of these these new behaviors and commands into your life. And right now, Elle is sitting at the door waiting for permission to come in. You can see her. <laughs> She's cool. Um, so yeah, Easy 900, super awesome. Elle, super awesome. And more. Yeah, because it's too big.